To create your lid, you're going to start the exact same way. You're going to get a fresh piece of cord. You're going to get your string in, or yarn in whatever color you want. You hold it, you wrap towards the end, and then you wrap back. Um, be careful not to let your yarn slide off of the end. We want to cover the tail of the string to secure it. Once we've wrapped about two inches or so, um, we're going to fold it in half. Once we fold it in half, then we are going to wrap around the two pieces to create that center loop that we will need for our lid. So again, make sure to leave a little opening, but then you're going to wrap around both pieces of cord until you um, hide that second piece and you are just wrapping around the single piece of cord. So your piece should look like this before you start to move into the anchor stitching process. Next, you're going to take and bend your piece in half. Um, you want to make sure that the end of your wrapping lines up with the opening in that center loop. And then you're going to start with your anchor stitch. Depending on which way you've been wrapping, you will either come up through the middle or go down through the middle, depending on the direction of your wrapping. This will create your first anchor stitch. Remember, you can do one or two anchors and then you will go back to your wrapping process. You will continue to wrap your cord for 10 wraps and then add another anchor stitch to the middle. Don't forget to think about what colors or patterns or designs you also want to use for your lid. You can change colors like we've practiced. Remember, as you are adding your coil loops and adding your anchors, as you work away from the middle, you will want to anchor back one cord. Okay, so you don't continue to anchor all the way back to that center, just like we did in our project. You will continue that same process um, as you align your cord, make sure that you're putting it beside the previous cord. So we want this piece to be flat. So as you work your way out, continue with your 10 wraps, anchor stitch, 10 wraps, anchor stitch, and keep wrapping your cord around um, to build a flat lid. As you build outward, be sure to check and see how your lid is fitting with your piece. So hold it up or set it on top of your coil fiber piece and see it about the size and then continue wrapping until it fits securely into that center opening. Once your lid is the correct size, it's time to end our weaving and we're going to follow the same steps as before. So you are going to continue to wrap until you get to the diagonal end of the cord and then you're going to anchor stitch until there is no more white cord showing. After that, you will take and loop your needle through one of the anchor stitches, create a loop, send your needle through the loop and pull it tight to create the knot and you might repeat this step more than once to make sure that the end of your yarn is completely secure. If you would like to, you can run your needle through another anchor stitch and then trim the tail so that it is hidden under that last anchor stitch. Now we take another piece of cord and we need to create a lip that will sit inside of our coil vessel to help hold the lid in place. So I take the cord, I figure out how long it needs to be to wrap around. So I'm placing it on top of the second loop in from the edge and then I mark where I need to cut my diagonal and then I take and I trim my cord to a diagonal. After that, I take my string that I'm going to be working with and a piece of masking tape. I hold the tape sticky side up and I place one side of the cord and my string onto the sticky masking tape. Then I line up the other edge with it and I wrap the tape around it to secure everything together. For this next step, I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to just continue to wrap it around and around and around the cord until the entire cord and masking tape is hidden and I am back where I first started wrapping. Make sure to pull your wrapping tight against the cord. Um, it's a way that we can also secure the two pieces together. After I'm done wrapping the entire loop, then I'm going to take the end of my string with a needle on it and I am going to anchor stitch to my second um, loop of my lid. So I go down on one side of the loop and then I come back up the other side. So I am anchor stitching or attaching this wrapped ring to the lid. And this will be the bottom of the lid, the part that sits inside of your coil 
vessel. You will continue to loop up and down through each side of that second ring of the lid to anchor the coil in place all the way around your lid. So you're repeating this process all the way around the entire lid to make sure that that loop is secure and will not move. Once you have made it all the way around, it's time to knot your string again. So you're going to go through one of your anchor stitches, so check to make sure your loop is completely secure, then go through the sides of your stitches and make a loop. Once you have your loop, pull your string through the center to create your knot, and then you can repeat it and then cut the tail off, or you can run your needle back through the anchor stitches to hide the tail and then trim any extra string. Last but not least, you can attach um, a button, a bead. What I did was I took um, a wooden spool and I painted it a color to match my piece. And we're going to attach this to the lid to act as a handle. So we're going to take some thinner string, run it through the object, and then we will take our needle, attach it onto the end. We're going to send the needle down through one side of the center, and then we will position the spool or bead, um, and we will send the needle through the other side, and then we will knot both ends underneath the lid to secure the handle into place for our lid. You might double knot the handle into place and then after you are finished take your scissors trim off any extra string. Then place your lid on top of your coil uh, weaving and see how it all fits together.